it's Chelsea with Studio to Streets. I just got here. Um, I'm at Latat Juvenile Detention Center and I had a few minutes to kill and I was like, well, maybe I'll make a little video and introduce people to where we are. So I'm here. I'm dressed in just regular old yoga clothing. Um, I try not to wear anything too tight. So, you know, I'll wear a tank top. It's okay to wear sleeveless shirts. I try to wear loose pants, just something I'm comfortable moving in because we do tend to practice and get all crazy. Um, this is the center. So right over here, let me see if I can switch views. That is Juvenile Detention Center. And you know, a lot of times, um, we think that like a juvenile detention center has to have like bars and fences and be this big, scary, intimidating Billy. And this isn't what this is at all. Um, it's kind of like a, a school is what it reminds me of. So I just wanted to give you a sense of where we are. I'm waiting for everybody to get here. Um, we'll check back in afterwards, but if you haven't made it out yet and you want to, we've got orientation September 17th, Saturday, 10.30 a.m. to 12 to 1.30 p.m. And then we also have it October 8th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And those are the last ones of the entire year. And um, we've only got about 15 volunteers now, and we're all enjoying it and would love for some more people to join us. So. Um, I'll check back in later. I hope you're doing good and um, I'm out. Hi guys, it's Chelsea again. Just got done with our class at Studio to Streets. Uh, we had about 15 girls today. Uh, I'd say about 10 of them got on the mat. Four of them just sat by and watched and then joined in the very uh, last 10 minutes or so for the, the relaxing poses. Um, it was a really good group. It was a really good group. We had we had three volunteers with us, and um, the boys actually this is the second week in a row that they've 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 said, "Hey, can we come do some yoga too?" And you know, um, we don't have enough volunteers right now to get to a both both a boys and girls group going. So we're especially looking for more male volunteers. Um, and the staff is starting to talk about maybe having more staff members here on the weekends that we could do a mixed group, but that's not really likely. So, um, so get to an orientation. Um, but just wanted to share, you know, um, this this for me is just it's just been an amazing experience. Um, it's very very different, I think, to um, to donate money or to donate clothing or all of those things. They're so useful, but when you actually stand in front of the person that you're serving um, and you actually come and you just do yoga with someone that you would not have probably seen or come into contact with. Someone in our community that um, just tends to be hidden in the pockets because our society doesn't like to look at them and doesn't like to face the fact that we have children that are wandering the streets that are being picked up by pimps that are in sex trafficking. When you actually stand in front of them and you see yourself reflected in their eyes and you see that um, in reality we're all looking for the same thing. We're looking for connection, we're looking for touch, um, we're looking to laugh, we're looking to experience joy. It's just heartbreaking and heart opening all at the same time. Um, and I love it and I'm enjoying it and um, just wanted to share that and hope that you guys can get out here and join me too. So. That's it. That's all we got for today. Uh, we'll be back next week, hopefully with some volunteers. Everybody had to run today. Um, otherwise, I would have had them on here instead of me. But that's it. Um, studio to Streets. Go to www.studiotostreets.com. We've got our sign-up lists, and I hope to see you on the mat soon. Okay, bye.